what's good? My name is Excelsius, representing Joint at the Hip Ministries. Well, the Houston Project is a local How missions endeavor put out by my church, Houston's First. Uh, and the aim is to uh, love our city in different locations uh, around the city of Houston and uh, just show them, man, the love of Christ through VBS, food distribution, hip hop. Uh, whatever whatever different things we can use to serve as tools uh, to just show people the love of Christ. And so uh, I kind of oversee bringing in different artists from around the country uh, mm -hmm. to minister through hip-hop. And who all do we have here? This year we got uh, representing Detroit, Mahogany Jones. We got my man from New York, Lavoisier. We got K-9 representing South Kakalaki. Uh, and then obviously we got some Houston cast, my man Educator from Real Saints. We got my man One Guy from Joint the Hip. We got Roddy representing his ministry, Veracity. Uh, who else we got? We got IBC. Uh, we also got Gifted the Flame. The, I'm gonna say like I'm from New Orleans. The Flame Thor. And then we got uh, we got that 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 legend, that legend Raz, little rascal. Uh, he's he's serving with us this week. So we got a, we got a nice little cross section. Got a nice yeah. little cross section. Did you have to do a big sales job to your church about using hip hop? And you know, it's really been interesting. Uh, obviously, our church is a is a Southern Baptist church, uh, somewhat conservative in their theology. Uh, but the cool thing is, I think they know my heart enough to know that I'm not going to ask someone to be a part of this that I don't think is going to minister truth. So that's been the cool thing. Uh, I would I would admit. I mean, I think maybe a couple of years ago, I think there was a little bit of a like, oh, uh, <laughs> hip hop, mm, Jesus, you know. And I understand that. Uh, I, I went through the same struggle, really. Wondering if God could use this art form because I think prior to Christ, all of us associated certain things with this art form and they weren't things that we would glorify, you know. Uh, but uh, the response has been cool. Like, educated, for example, educated got, you know, uh, we call them the blue haired ladies, the ladies with the blue hair, the old white ladies. You know, educated got them rocking his joint riding down 16. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's been cool to see um, them embrace something that maybe is a little bit uncomfortable at first, but once they see guys in it, I mean, you can't really deny that. Yeah. So. And we know um, Houston and Texas has a lot of Christian hip hop guys, and you've used some of them. But why pull from from outside of the state when you got talent right here? Good some question. Uh, first and foremost, the people that I brought in are people that I've had the chance to really watch their ministry, and I respect not just their ability, but I respect their character. And obviously, that that speaks to having built or forged some level of a friendship relationship. Uh, and so, all of them, I, I know them beyond the booth. You know what I'm saying? Um, obviously, you know, we'll, we'll talk about music and freestyle and do whatever, but at the end of the day, talent can't overshadow character. When it does, um, it's just problematic. And so I brought them in because I've got a chance to see their hearts for ministry independent of the music. Um, and then, too, I think there are a lot of cats in Houston uh, that could use a little more seasoning, could use some discipleship. Um, in the word, not necessarily in music, really getting the contrast of what it means to minister the word of God through song versus I'm a Christian and I rap. You know, I think all of the, the, the people I brought in all have a good balance of that. Um, you know, and I don't want to be guilty of putting people in front of, of people on behalf of my church that at the end of the day I got to go back mm -hmm. to my, my people and be like, sorry. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and you're like super connected within Christian hip hop. Is there anybody you don't know? Uh, you know what? You know what, man. I, I really. Well, how do you How do you do that? How proverbs, do you man. There's a There's a proverb that says, "If you want to be have friends, you must first show yourself friendly." And so, to each mahogany, Voss, canine, and, and and pretty much anybody else, if it wasn't someone that reached out to me, I just reached out to them. Uh, great plug for your man Wade. I reached out to Voss after hearing him on Wade's show because after listening to him, I was like, "This is somebody I need to know, man." Mm -hmm. And and we've been building ever since. Like it's been a couple years now, but it's been amazing because I'm like this cat is a thinker like he talks about stuff that most people I know don't talk about he talking about Christian businesses and what that looks like in a secular world and I'm like yes 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 like this ain't just that dumbed down I love Jesus and he saved me not that that's, there's, there's not a place for that but at some point we gotta get off the milk you know what I mean let's talk about something let's talk about being godly husbands and what that looks like when my, my two year old wants to sit in my lap in the middle of the interview eating popcorn you know that kind of stuff so uh yeah, I just reach out to cats. You know, some cats don't respond. Um, some cats do. You know, thankfully all of them have have, yeah. have got back at me. So that's a good uh, follow up. What do you do when somebody doesn't respond? Or, and have you? Because uh, that's that's the knock on some guys is that they're too they're untouchable. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you see it for what it is. You know what I mean? Um, you reach out if they, if they reach back. You got you've got a friend. If you don't, you keep it moving. You know. Mm -hmm. um, 
I don't take it personally. I think that would be the immature thing to do. Uh, but I would also say too, it does get, it does leave a little sour taste in your mouth, you know. Um, so you know, I I take it with a grain of salt, you know. If I reach out and you don't reach back, it is what it is. I I love K9 like a brother, but he don't never call me. He called me a month after I I, I call him. He I'm sorry, fam. I'm so you know, sometimes they fall down like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, anything else that's burning on your heart that you? need to tell the world? Oh, uh, man. Nah, Jesus is Lord, and uh, for the privilege to exalt him through this art form, man, this is a great privilege, and I'm just thankful that I got people that I could really consider family, that even though they live on the other side of the country, um, at the end of the day, we connected, man. So, Jesus is Lord, man. Straight up. <laughs>